Okay, if you're watching this, there's a fair bet that you've watched the video where Steve built this for uh, computer file, and I said I'm going to try and edit a video on it. And I've edited that video on a Raspberry Pi 4, just not this one. So why not this one? Well, I had a few problems with the video playback and tried lots of swapping out and lots of things and had some help off people on Twitter, thank you very much you guys, uh, who seemed to suggest it was hardware. So this one, or rather its predecessor, went back. The Pi Hut were very good and sent me this one straight away and then I went away on holiday. So I'm now back off holiday and I have plugged this one in and sadly it has the same problems. So here I've upgraded and unpacked all of the software, added Caden Live to the Raspberry Pi and after four or five minutes of installing Caden Live and upgrading everything I was creating proxy clips and importing all the media. Here are some shots of the problems I was having with the video with the Raspberry Pi 4 with four gigabytes of RAM. So skipping over that because that's not the essence of this video. I have here the original Raspberry Pi 4 that I bought which I've been using for a um, RAID array and uh, it's working okay uh, with video editing so much so that at one point I had it video editing here as well as serving 4k video for Premiere Pro over there so a bit of a messed up system at the moment with all these monitors but um, hopefully it will get the video finished and uh, the noisy fan here is because I was getting throttling from the CPU getting up to temperature so okay sensible thing to do would be to switch the tiny fan off the Raspberry Pi 4 that you saw Steve building or hopefully you're going to see Steve building if I finish the video um, uh, onto this Raspberry Pi which only has a heat sink um, but I'm being a bit superstitious about it because this is working superstitious doesn't always mix with computing but you know what it's like you change something change too many things it may go wrong but anyway the massive fan has meant that instead of running at 80 degrees while editing on this uh, I've got it down to around about 40 43 uh, as it's idling now it's sitting at uh, let's have a look 33 degrees but I'm not doing any editing Yesterday when I was doing the editing, I was up to 80 degrees. I added this fan and got it down to 43 while I was editing. So I figure that's pretty good. This is where we're at at the moment with the edit. Okay, come on green, switch to picture. Thank you. So it's a little bit clunky, but you can see this is a fairly sensible looking timeline. Uh, I've got some video from the Pi camera there to start the film off. Um, video from my big camera and then we go into the opening sequence so there's a block wipe through into the computer file logo hopefully if it appears there we go and then we go into Steve's introduction or my question to Steve about if he can help me and then into uh, the video proper this bit here with two um, kind of blocks is because I wanted to edit what I say ever so slightly and keep the picture running constantly. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to see how it runs, this is what we're looking at. This is 1080p. It's manageable, it's workable, and what's most important is it's not got the blocks I was getting on the other um, Raspberry Pi. Okay. I suspect I'll have some problems with the audio because that was what made me come unstuck last time I tried free software editing but I figure that maybe this time I will go about it a slightly different way. Well, I've got to the end bit and whereas I have all this templated all these different sections in um, Avid and sometimes when I use Premiere Pro uh, I have to do this manually but it's surprisingly easy actually in Caden Life. Um, I'm using the position and zoom to shrink down this to a, a set size and then there's even a, a click and drag so I can get it into the right place the pie is running fine, the temperature is, let's have a look, uh, 36 degrees, uh, it's editing, full HD, um, yeah, happy, let's hope that it outputs okay. Okay, uh, attempting to render it, um, second time it's crushed again, it crashed the first time, it's not getting too hot. 
uh, temperature's okay, so I'm assuming it's just quite a complicated thing. So I'm going to go for a restart and see if, uh, if not, I'll have to simplify it and do some of the effects afterwards. Okay, rebooted and it appears to be rendering out and I'm not counting my chickens and on a few tests I've done that remaining time is rather optimistic. You can see it climb now. This is a six or seven minute video and on my tests of one or two minute videos it was taking the best part of an hour so I wouldn't be surprised if this takes all day. But uh, I'm going to leave it to it and I may increase the fan power. Du, 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 du. Du, 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 du. Let's increase the fan power. Okay, uh, I came up to check on it after leaving it for an hour and a half or so thinking uh, let's see if it's crashed or if it's still going or what's what and it's finished the render in 1 hour 15 minutes and 59 seconds and I've just watched it through and all bar the audio which I haven't spent a long time on anyway it's looking very good uh, I'm very impressed and uh, yeah so you should have already seen this by the time you see this that makes sense, sort of. So yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it into my normal edit computer and just sweeten the audio because that's the one thing I don't feel confident to be competent at doing on the Pi. It should be possible, probably by taking it out to an external program and all that sort of thing. Uh, if you want me to bore you with how the audio is set up and what the problem is, um, I can do that. Uh, record two channels of audio, that's a microphone on myself and a microphone on the contributor, in this case Steve. And each of those goes into a separate channel on the camera and those camera uh, channels, if you play them on a domestic device, would come out as stereo, so one person on one side and one person on the other side. Uh, so two things need to happen. First off, we need to make sure that those things don't interfere with each other and cause echoing and, and funny noises. And the second thing is we need to lift the levels to the maximum YouTube allows, otherwise people find themselves having to turn up the volume on their computer when they're watching the computer file channel, and then turn it back down again when they watch another channel. So uh, we use the thing called a compressor to lift uh, the volumes, uh, but without distorting them. So it lifts everything to a certain level. Uh, that's an oversimplification in a massive way. Audio is a huge topic. Anyway, long story short, I'm going to take this into uh, Premiere or Avid on the a big computer and sweeten the audio and it should be about ready to publish. Um, everything else has been done on the Pi. Um, unlike the free software video where I created everything from scratch in free software, that meant making graphics in GIMP and that meant uh, coming up with animations in, in various uh, tools on the Linux box. Uh, GNU Linux box. This time I have imported uh, the stuff from my other computer and just made sure that it's all HD. Uh, regular viewers might know we've been UHD for two and a half years now uh, since January 2017. So this is a step down just for this one video um, but hopefully you'll enjoy it and it's worth it or you had enjoyed it or if you haven't watched it I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere around here very very shortly. So that's it. Just to clarify uh, the file was exported onto the hard disk on the Pi itself which was then accessed via the network from Premiere Pro uh, to sweeten the audio. This is it actually playing now off the um, Pi. Uh, do some audio tweaks and what have you. Uh, added the end plate that says this was edited on a Raspberry Pi and there you have it. So yeah, I massively impressed. Massively impressed. The replacement Pi 4, 4 gigabyte, I don't know what's going to happen. As I say, it'll probably get pressed into service as a video NAS, uh, the same as the other one, and uh, I will use it, but I don't have time to find what's what's going on there. Um, this is an exercise in seeing if it was a capable machine, and I think we've proved that it is a very capable machine. Oh, for those wondering, yes, while we're away, my shelf fell down. What are you going to do?